on the road again, and this time to Memphis, Tennessee, of all places, because I need some more cabinets. I don't have any other options. So we are on our way to Ikea. This episode is sponsored by Bang Energy Drinks, because I am tired. Let's get going. Well, what's up everyone welcome back to the channel and as i said today we're on a special field trip to ikea in memphis because i need more detoff cabinets and i heard there's rumors that they're about to be discontinued so i'm stocking up now i'm hoarding i'm preparing for that as well as getting ready to introduce the collection room volume four so that's exciting but on the way we are going to be answering questions like we did the last time that was actually pretty good and we had a good success with that and had a lot of fun doing so so the first question out of the gate is from my wife she said who are we? Because I said, we are on our way to Memphis. It's you, the studio audience, or my friends, my everyone that's on here listening. We are headed to Ikea. So don't worry, babe. No one else is coming. You don't need to worry about that. So number two, we have Uncanny Figures saying, if Thanos were to snap away all my entire collection, what would my final three be? If everything else was gone, what were those three pieces be that he doesn't take. Number one would be Dark Side Anakin Skywalker. Number two would be Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy. And number three would be my life-size child from Sideshow. So those are the three that I hope Thanos doesn't take. So with all that being said, we are about to hit the road. I will let you know once we get to Ikea and Memphis safely, we will answer some more questions once we get there and make it through the, um, the maze, as you will see. But also, if you've not done so already, please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Leave me a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know that you are there and I'll see you once we get to Ikea. Hopefully you can hear me safely over the wind, but we are here in Memphis at Ikea, the home of wonder and lots of great, amazing furnishings. We're about to walk in there and I will show you what we got. All right, so let me explain what Ikea is. So Ikea is a giant warehouse of furnishings and home goods and things like that. And this place can be a little bit overwhelming. What it is is that when you walk in, there's actually a big showroom of all these different cabinets and drawers and furnishings. We're gonna go through the showroom and I'll show you kind of what they have available. And then once you finish up, you come to this giant warehouse to find the pieces that you need. So we're gonna go through the showroom. Let me show you some of the things that uh, I have as some of the cabinets as some of the things that Amy likes as well. So let's get into that showroom and see what's going on. So here we are in the showroom and this place is extremely massive and quite overwhelming for a lot of people. I already got what I needed through the click and connect, so I don't have to go through any of this stuff. But um, they have everything that you could possibly want from, you know, furniture to shelvings to everything. So I don't know if there's certain types of displays you're looking for or certain types of chairs or anything, but the pricing is the best part about all of this. Very, very affordable. And it is uh, all assembly, so if you're handy, that can certainly help out. So this place is engineered kind of like one big maze, and I think it's designed like that to make sure that you stay in here and keep buying things. But here are a lot of the cabinets and displays. Pardon me. Let's see. And as I've said before, I like coming and getting the Detoffs because I think they're the perfect display piece. I did pick up some of these right here, these calyxes, because I'm going to end up putting my Detoffs on top of that to try to raise them up a little bit so they're not right on the floor. There's some more display cases. A lot of people do these billies, all kinds of different little pieces here. I know this one's popular you can get these shelving units and then you go and get the, um, I guess, little metal doors to put on it. So they're bookcases, but you can put glass displays on it. So a lot of people get these as well. And they are perfect for, you know, one six figures and such. Pretty cool, right? And here's all the glass display options. And of course, here is the IKEA Detoff. And this is the only place you can get them. Only place you can get them. That's why I drove to Memphis to grab them. 
Now there's a couple different options, I guess, of other things that people like. You know, this is an option for if you don't want something so tall. The Mills bow, I guess. I would consider this um, for maybe some bigger figures and such, but uh, the shelving's kind of kind of low on it, so maybe one day. But that's what I grabbed some more of, because I think it's the perfect display. Some more ornate versions. But what do you think? What is your ultimate display? What is it supposed to look like? What do you want to have? Let's take a look around a little bit more. We've got lamps, tables, and chairs. Oh my. Lots of stuff here. Kitchenwares. Children screaming. I do like this. Very cool. And yes, everything is very European looking because it's a European store. And I like that. Not bad, right? Here's some bed furnishing and such. And there are so many people here today. Never would guess that we are in a global pandemic, but everyone is out and about doing their thing. Nightstands, more bedroom pieces, curtains, all the stuff that Amy likes. Bunk beds and such. I'm just trying to get through here so I can get back to the warehouse so I can show you a couple other things, get my purchase order and get out and answer some of your questions. So let's get going. I was wrong. There's no warehouse. It just took me to all these lighting fixtures and lights, which are pretty cool. If you're wondering, we are looking for some new chandeliers to add to the house. So if you see anything right now that you're like, wow, that could look really cool, let me know. I'm sure Amy would appreciate it. You're good stuff though, right? Hmm, maybe I'll never get out of here. Maybe I'll just have to live here forever. But I'm hopeful. We're getting to artwork, so it's getting a little bit smaller things. So let's get going. I didn't think it was going to happen, but we did make it out and into the actual warehouse again to go and find the things that you hopefully found while you were in there. Um, they do have stuffed animals for if your kids were, I guess, good and you need to reward them. But as I said, I got everything I need up front because I was able to order it online. And so now all I have to do is just pick it up. But as you can see, everything is organized here. Stuff as high as you can see. So I think there's like 20 different aisles or more, but uh, pretty crazy, isn't it? Pretty crazy. Look at all that. You can see why people might find this place a little bit overwhelming, but pretty cool. And uh, I'm gonna go get my stuff and I'm gonna load it up. And then I'm gonna answer some of your questions once we get into the car. I guess I kind of technically answered the question from CT1701 Photos who said, what is my favorite figure? And that would be Dark Side Anakin Skywalker. So that's my number one figure. This next question comes from my good buddy, Dusty Gibbs 84 and he says, how did you tell your wife about your hobby or passion and what was her reaction? Well, it was actually our second date when we went out and I asked, hey, do you care if we go to Walgreens to go toy hunting? And I'm looking for some Funko Pops. That's what I used to collect before I got into six scale. And she said, sure, absolutely. And it was at that moment I knew that I had a winner and I obviously married her because she's supportive of my hobby and she lets me do this and not just lets me do this, but she's uh, she loves that I do do this and because this is who I am and uh, couldn't be more happy with the woman that I chose to be my lovely wife. So Amy, you're the best. Dusty, hopefully that answers your question. And our final question today comes from Eric's Toy Box. And he says, have you ever considered shooting a different scale of figure um, other than the six scale figures that I do on my Instagram page? And the answer is yes, I used to do the six inch figures or one twelfth scale, um, but I wasn't really good at it, honestly. Um, I wasn't able to get the lighting right. I wasn't able to do it very easily. So maybe that's something I should go back to trying again, but I don't have any more six inch figures. So the answer is yes, I have tried um, or considered other scales, but I'm just not good at it. So I'm sticking with the six scale photography. I feel like I got the lighting and the knack for that down. So hopefully that answers your question, Eric's Toy Box. So I am famished. I'm about to go to get a um, little bit of Chipotle and then I will get home and tell you and show you our haul. Well, here we are safely home and here is our haul from Ikea. 
Yes, I did a little bit of pre-planning because I don't want to have to go back again to get more detox. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to use all of these right now, but these calyxes are going to come in handy. I can't wait to show you volume four of the collection room when we finally get it up and running. So that's exciting. But I also have something cool that I need to show you. Let me flip around the camera here. So I also have a package sitting here that came in the mail and I want to give you an opportunity to guess uh, what it is. So let's see, there are two Hot Toys figures in there and I want to know down in the comments, if you made it this far, what do you think they are? I will let you guys know in an unboxing video on Instagram Live. So if you do know what it is, leave two comments of what you think these two figures are. And until then, I will be seeing you all in our next video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you've not done so already. And we will see you in our next video.